Well, over the weekend, Onalaska police officers recovered a stolen political sign vandalized with a swastika. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen joins us live in the newsroom with a candidate's response and what acts like this mean for the state of American politics. Amy and Ken, as political advertisements get nastier, so do attacks from extremists, and no race is exempt. Political analysts say this is a sign of the times. This time of year, roadsides are covered in political signs. Vandalism in the past used to be closer to a disappearing yard sign. That vandalism has gotten more extreme. Over the weekend, on Alaska police recovered a sign for 94th Assembly District candidate Ryan Hipsch, spray painted with a swastika. But this one in particular got stolen from a location, apparently got vandalized with a, a, a Nazi symbol. Hipsch says several of his signs have been stolen, but this was the first case of vandalism. Political analyst Joe Heim says though acts like these aren't frequent, they're popping up more often. Those are not positive signs for democracy and positive signs for elections because they're examples of extremism. Hipsch's opponent, incumbent Democrat Steve Doyle, condemned the vandalism. There's no place in politics for defacing other people's yard signs or ripping up their campaign literature or anything at all like that. Doyle feels this could be a response to political attacks, but asks people to find other ways to express their frustrations. Don't get upset, vote. That's the reaction that people should have. If they're upset about it, go work for a campaign. Don't do things that are destructive. Try to do things that are positive. Neither candidate knows who's responsible. Don't go to this. This stealing signs, vandalizing signs, that is absolutely, that's not the Cooley region that I know. Haim explains that as the gap widens, politicians themselves have a role to play. Tone down the rhetoric, uh, lower the temperature, and I will tell you it is responsibility of the leaders of the parties the elected leaders of the Democrats and the elected leaders of the Republicans to speak up when things like this occur. Now both candidates and Heim say the best way to make your voice heard is to vote and get involved with campaigns, not vandalism. Back to you, Amy and Ken. All right, thank you, Emily. And under Wisconsin law, causing damage to a sign is a misdemeanor crime.